Hey, this is Joe from Personas. Today we're going to talk about exactly how to set up mid-side processing in Studio One. But first, a cautionary tale. Don't sit books down on your mixer. I set one down and it unmuted my reverb, so I shot this entire video and the whole thing sounded like this. But of course, I didn't find out until I was finished patting myself on the back and going to edit it. So I'm going to be a little more cranky on this version. I hope that's okay with you. All right, this video is divided into two parts. First, I'm going to explain what mid-side processing is again, and then I'll show you how to set it up in Studio One. There should be a table of contents on this video at the bottom of the play bar, I believe. So if you know mid-side and you want to skip ahead to how to do it, then you can see where to do that below. There should be a timestamp down in the description as well. So mid-side processing. I'm going to explain it even better this time than I did on the time that no one's ever going to hear because it sounded like this. Mid-side processing is this thing that started with recording. Uh, at least I think it did, where it was this process of stereo recording, let's say an acoustic guitar using two microphones, but instead of just using two mics like this, like you're the, you're the guitar, facing you or spaced out or in like an XY pattern or whatever, they used one facing you directly, regular cardioid directional microphone, and another one facing, not facing you, but like facing sideways, but this one picks up in a figure eight polar pattern. And then you would combine the two and put it through some sort of a mid-side processor that would turn it from these two signals into a left and right signal where you could adjust the balance of the middle to the sides by adjusting those two microphone levels. It's really cool. I haven't done it in years because it's too much work. But that same kind of concept of needing to encode and decode the source audio, you can kind of do that in reverse inside of a mix or a mastering session to allow you to access the middle of a mix separately from the sides. So let's say really simple example. Let's say I've got a vocal in the middle and I've got two acoustic guitars that I've panned hard left and hard right. But I don't have the raw tracks anymore. I only have a mix. So, uh, so I'm, I'm doing like a mastering or some sort of restoration job on this and I can't get to the original vocal. I can't get to the original guitars. Let's say the vocal is perfect and warm but the guitars are boomy and disgusting. Mid-side processing gives us a fighting chance to perhaps fix that. Because what it does is it takes the vocal and it puts it over here and it takes those side guitars, groups them together, and puts them over here. So now I have mid vocal, side guitars. Once I have them split out, I can do whatever I want. I can process, I can leave the vocal alone, maybe add a little reverb to the vocal, and then I can EQ those guitars to get them to be less muddy. Then, once I've got them how I want them, I put them back together, and now we're back to a stereo mix with vocals in the middle and guitars on the side. It's very cool, borderline magic, um, but a very cool tool to know. And the best thing is if you use Studio One Professional, you don't have to use specific mid-side plugins to do mid-side processing. There are some companies, um, I think of like Brainworks comes to mind, that do very cool mid-side EQs and compressors that have kind of the mid-side processing built in. Uh, you can use those, those are great. If you wanna use another, let's say you wanna use mid-side processing, but you wanna you want use your favorite fat channel compressor on the sides and a different one on the mids, or you've got a cool third party compressor or EQ that you wanna use, you can now use them. So Studio One will give you the formula, the, 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 the kind of the framework to do mid-side processing, but you can swap out whatever plugins you want. That is very, very cool. Um, and it's something that's a lot easier to do now in version 5.2. So let's go into Studio One. And I'll show you exactly how to set up this mid-side processing. So I have a song here. Uh, this is one of Gregor's favorite songs of mine. Mainly because it was the song we used for the NAMM show 2020. Um, and I, had to, I did a vocal demo presentation and used this song over and over. So <laughs> sorry, Gregor. Let's take this and copy it to a second track because I want to show you a couple of things from a nerdy standpoint, so you can do this exact test and test it for yourself. So I'm going to drag it over, hold down Option. This creates a new track. And I'm going to flip the polarity of this second track. If you don't have these buttons, they're available under the little wrench. Click input controls. That will show this little trim gain knob and these little polarity switches right on the channel. Super cool. I think that came out in like version 4.6 or something. Very, very cool. I use it all the time. But now that I have both of these on here, exactly the same audio with one flipped, when I press play, you get no audio. Why? Because they're completely canceling each other out. 
I'm showing you this to make a point, but we're going to turn down that second one for now. Now, let me show you the basic building blocks of proteins, which are amino acids. No, I'm kidding. I remember that from like ninth grade biology. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. But for building a mid-side processor, you need mix tool. You need two mix tools and splitter. So mix tool, as you may or may not know, is a plugin you've had for years. It's really kind of a Swiss army knife of plugin. So I'm gonna drag two mix tools onto this channel. Now, if we look at it, it's got a couple of buttons here we can use. We're gonna use the MS transform button. That's gonna take our stereo mix and transform it into, instead of regular left and right, the left side's gonna be the mid and the right side is gonna be the sides. What does that sound like? Well, let's just hit play and you can hear it. feels very lopsided. The kick and snare are over here and then other stuff like the organ and some guitars are over here. Let's go to the second mix tool plugin and let's turn mid side. Oh, that, that was the second one. Okay, let's go to the first one and let's transform it back. So there's both of these are doing MS transform, which means theoretically it should be back to what it was before we added any plugins. Okay, so if that's the case, then if I turn up this second one and they're both, that second one has the polarity flipped, we should get silence when I hit play. That's not silence at all. Why? Because the mid-side transform actually takes away 3 dB of volume. It has to do with pan laws and all the underneath stuff I don't care about, uh, but it does take away three decibels of gain, which is why if you use the MS transform preset, you'll notice it pushes the button and it also adds 3 dB of gain. And that's what we need to do. Um, that's the thing that we got a comment the other day that it was not working. This is why. Now that we've added those 3 dB per instance back in, we've gained back the six decibels that we lost. And now if we hit play, we get nothing. Now it's canceling each other out. Okay. So we've got the mid side processing, but how do we add plugins just to the mid and just to the side? Well, that's where Splitter comes in. And Splitter has been in Studio One for many versions, but now it is a plugin that you can access from your plugin list. When you drag it in, it looks something like this. It's so cool. Let me turn down that second one so we don't hear that one anymore. All right, so you've probably seen me show this before, but specifically for mid side, I don't think I've talked about much. So here it is, we got mix tool one, turning it into mid side. We've got splitter set to channel split. That means the left side of the splitter is the left channel, the right side is the right channel. In other words, with mid side processing, the mids are coming down the left, the sides are coming down the right. We can process those independently by dragging things like pro EQ, onto the side if we want. Now we've got a special EQ just for the sides. And then it comes back together and mix tool is there again to take the mid and the sides and to back to a normal stereo mix. So here's, let's listen to each of the mid and the side separately for a second so you can hear what they sound like. Here's what the mid sounds like. So we're using the mute option on the splitter to mute the right side or mute the side portion. Here's what the mids sound like. And when I say mids, I don't mean mid frequencies, I mean mid side, the middle part. And here's what the sides sound like. You got cymbals, you got some of that organ, you got some of the rhythm guitars that are panned out right wide, but you got no like kick drum and bass guitar. Very, very cool. Now let's assume, you, you can't assume that here because those sound wonderful. Let's assume I made those two muddy in the mix. Well, now we can grab this EQ and we can now just EQ, this is just the side part. So it's not gonna touch the kick and the snare, but we can EQ it separately. So let's do that. I'll do it a little exaggerated so we can hear it in the mix. Okay, now we've EQ'd the sides. Now let's add the center, the mid, back in. Here's what the whole thing sounds like. Okay, let's turn this EQ on and off and you'll hear the middle, you know, 
Kick drum, snare drum, bass guitar, lead guitar. I think there's a lead guitar there. They don't change, but the sides do. Here we go. We'll start with the EQ off, and then I'll kick it on and off a couple of times. And that is mid-side processing in Studio One, very simply. Now, you can take this framework, let's delete this EQ plugin, you can take this framework and now you can apply any plugins to either side. You can go nuts. You can put eight plugins on the side and seven plugins on the mid if you want. Wouldn't recommend that, but now you can. To make it easier on yourself, once you've set this up in your test session, come over here to inserts, click on the little drop down, scroll to the bottom and choose Store Effects Chain. This will allow you to create something called mid side and that will show up on the top section of your effects browser over here. Click effects chains and you'll see it right there, mid side. So now I can drag this entire effects chain. I, you don't want to set it up every time. Now it's set up. If I want it on a session, I just go kaboink and now I've got everything set up exactly how I want it and I can begin adding things to it. So there you go, that is how to set up mid-side processing in Studio One. You'll need Studio One Professional to do this because that's the one that has the splitter tool available. You can get Professional by buying it outright, upgrading from the version you have, or by joining Sphere, which gets you access to not only Studio One Pro, but Notion, master classes we do every week, all the add-ons, a lot of stuff there. Check it out at our website. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. As long as you don't I love you, Gregor.